Okay, so this video we are talking about fats. One of my favorite things about macros and I just love when people understand what fats are about. And before I dive in any further, if you're scared of fats, um, you're not alone. A lot of people are scared of fats and that's because they have gotten a bad rep um, for a long time, especially back in the 90s. So what you just want to do is make sure that you educate yourself on the right types of fats. And so please watch this video and you'll get access to this PDF after so that you can save it and have it um, downloaded to your phone or your computer so that you have more information about what, what, what fats actually do for you and why you don't have to be afraid of them. <clears throat> and so let's dive right into it and talk about fats. Um, so fat is a source of energy and it's the most energy dense macronutrient. What that means, like I mentioned before, it is there are more calories in one gram of fat than there are of carbs and protein. And that's why it says they're more energy dense macronutrient and it is also easily stored and transported within the body. The body can store unlimited amounts of fat. That's why we get obese if we um, ha are having too many calories, all kinds of stuff, and that's why we get um, fatty tissue, and it's just layers on layers of fat if we're not careful and we don't take care of our health. So fat forms the primary component of cell membranes. Cell membranes are partly composed of specific types of fats called um, phospholipids. So that's, uh, if you don't know what that is, that's totally fine. Um, like I mentioned before, also, fat can protect vital organs by providing the cushion layer in cold environments. So that's why in the winter, if you don't know this, when it gets cold, our body actually naturally wants to hold on to more fat in the winter because it's, it's cold and um, it's telling you that it wants to be warm and needs to be warm. So in the winter, you may find that um, that fat wants to hold on just a little bit longer. That's okay. We want to be clothed anyway in the winter, so it's fine. And then fat can keep you full lo for longer. So eating more fat dramatically increases satiety levels. So um, it does help keep you fuller longer if you add fat in there. And therefore, you can eat less yet feel more satisfied in the process. Fat is also crucial in, uh, in managing inflammation. So the fat found in fish contains essential omega-3 fatty acids, which provide health and performance uh, benefits due to their highly anti-inflammatory properties. So fat has so many amazing health benefits um, and inflammation being one of them specifically that's why it's so important, but you want to make sure that you have the right types of fats and that you're, because you can have fats in your diet that are actually causing inflammation. So you want to make sure you have the right types. Okay, so let's go into the different types of fat. There's um, unsaturated fats, um, polyunsaturated fats, um, and different foods land in different categories. So omega-3s are found in salmon, tuna, mackerel, chia, flax, walnuts. Six are found nuts, seeds, vegetable oil, corn, soybean, and sunflower. So as it states up here, an unsaturated fat is a fat or a fatty acid in which there is at least a single uh, double bond within the fatty acid chain. One thing to keep in mind is we do need omega-3s and omega-6 in our bodies, like it's important. Um, but the one thing that you don't want to overdo is the omega-6. And that is something that most Americans get too much of is the omega-6. And this is where vegetable oil, corn oil, soybean oil, canola oil, that's not mentioned right in here, um, are all high in omega-6. And when you have too much omega-6 in your diet, that's when you can be causing inflammation. So you wanna be careful in making sure that you are not getting too much omega-6. And you can do that just by staying away from a lot of these oils and saturated fats that are not good for you. So oils like 
uh, corn, soybean, canola, those types of oils, try to stay away from those. And then the benefits um, of the uh, omegas 3s and omega 6 are these here on the right, you know, lower heart rate, improved heart rhythm. So if someone needs a very low um, uh, healthy fat diet, you can actually um, have heart problems because you're not having enough healthy fats. So you can see here um, eating a healthy amount of fat can improve and benefit you with all of these other things that are going on. So pretty cool, huh? Okay, monounsaturated mono unsaturated fats found in avocado, almonds, cashews, peanuts, um, cooking oils. So here, you know, we're talking about canola and olive, all these types of oils. I'll touch a little bit more on those in a little bit. Um, and then benefits um, of monounsaturated fats are these here on the right. What I would really focus on here with these types of fats are your avocados and your nuts right here. And then when it comes to the oils, I would primarily stick with um, olive oil and sunflower oil. Some sesame seed oil you can do too, but I, I wouldn't um, use peanut, soybean, canola um, just because it tends to be highly processed and overdone and then it can cause other inflammatory issues. So try to stick with these other ones. But this is just showing you like what foods has, has this type of fat in it. And then a saturated fat is a type of fat in which fatty acid chains have all or predominantly single bonds found in red meat, dairy products, and coconut oil. Some people get scared of um, red meat or um, coconut oil because it, it hardens. Um, and it's considered, it's a saturated fat, but uniquely resistant to heat and rancidity, essential for proper nutrient absorption, more satisfying and help curb cravings, may boost metabolism and aid weight loss um, efforts. So don't buy into the saturated fats that they're bad for you. Um, you just wanna make sure that you have the right ones. Okay, trans fats. Processed foods, hydrogenated fats and oils, margarine. So when you're thinking about um, trans fats or trans, trans fatty acids are a form of unsaturated fat. They come in both natural and artificial forms. So natural could be like a certain type of oil. Um, but what we're looking at here is the processed foods. And this, these are the items that you want to make sure that you um, don't overdo it in. So like French fries, it'd be better if you could just make them at home and have minimal oil on them. Or a lot of places they'll use peanut oil or canola oil because it's a cheap oil when they're making their French fries. So what you can do at home is make it with avocado or coconut oil and just bake them. And now you have you know, baked French fries with your type of oil on them versus, you know, um, French fries that you're getting at a fast food restaurant and it's very high in these unsaturated fats. For a healthy individual seeking a balanced macronutrient diet, 30% of a daily caloric requirement should come from healthy fats. So that's why if you're doing 60, 1,600 calories, your... Um, 30% of fat intake would be around 50 some grams for the day. It's very easy to get there. But you can see here that this means an intake of a typical 2,500 calorie diet would equal 83 grams of fat, dietary fat per day. So you just wanna make sure you're getting your fat from the right types of fats. And that, um, and I wanna to touch on the what the fats do for your brain. I talked about it in the macro, um, video a little bit, but how eating these healthy types of fats can improve your brain function. So let's say example, let's say you're in school or you're studying or you're working and you're creating something and, and you're just like, oh, I just can't think um, and I'm having brain fog. What you can actually do is eat a handful of walnuts and it'll give you that boost of energy into your brain 
and you'll feel like you can go and create something without um, having that brain fog because you just gave your brain fuel. So keep that in mind, like you can utilize things like that versus like caffeine, um, sodas and sugars is you can give your brain um, the fats and you'll be able to um, get things accomplished by eating something that's healthy and fueling your body that way versus the opposite. That's your fat video for today. You'll have access to this and I'll see you in the next video.